you might remember that I lost a few of my recordings. Whoa. This video takes place in 2021, last summer. I'm feeling very zen today. Which was a rarity because 2021 was horrible for me. It's, it's the beginning of the summer. Oh, it's a beautiful thing. And uh, yesterday and the day before, the temperatures were in the 90s and people were at the beach. So I'm getting here early. The tides are not in my favor. But you know what? Anything can happen. It's beach metal detecting. Anything can happen. Oh, you don't know how right you are. The only thing is that uh, people probably have not been in the water yet. Uh, the water temperature is pretty cold. That's some aluminum foil. While I was finding aluminum foil, the birds were plotting against me. Do you have any idea what an American oyster catcher is? These are evil, evil, evil birds. We find treasure in this video, we do. But here's the thing, we're used to coexisting in New York with pigeons and squirrels, and they'll just, they, they know how to keep their distance. They can stay like a foot away from you and you know you're safe and they know that they're safe. You'll never get to touch them, but you coexist with them. These ones, on the other hand, they're like my dog, bro. What are you doing? Uh, I live here, bro. You make me anxious when you breathe and exist. And although I'm a hot dog, I identify as a guard dog, so I nip Why you. don't you love me, bro? See, look at this. Signs of depositing. But no deposits. Yeah, the people who use this, uh, who made this sandcastle, they apparently shop in Bitcoin. That's proof it's 2021. The sand is worth more than Bitcoin now. It's an interesting beach. It slopes from the dry, which tells me there was a big uh, cut that happened. And, uh, you know, maybe people walked over it and, you know, it, the tides never reached back up here and you see the weed line right here but at some point there was an event that really uh, ate into this all right we went back in the dry got something And we are now proud owners. Pulleth Tabith. All right, doing some beach cleaning. Use all of your available senses for this part. I think this is going to be... similar to the last signal. Piece of can. However, I hear some iron this time. Sure is. Jeez, hear those birds? They're like dive bombing on me. Look at this guy. Look at him. They're jerks. Whoa, Jesus. 
looks like somebody uh, flying a freaking, what do you call those things? Jesus, do you see that? Somebody flying a, uh, what the hell, a drone. Can't get that word out of my mouth because I'm getting dive bombed. These guys are jerks, jerks. I'm gonna have to rap battle them again. I rap battled them in this video. Just hit the I button. Let me stand up. I don't think they have any missiles. So, Jesus! Jerks. They go, I, I could feel like they're wind. They like go right over your head. They buzz the tower like Tom Cruise. Negative, Ghost Rider, the pattern is full. New York apparently thinks this is a good idea. L look at them swarming over there. Tell you what, let me give you a can, jerks. Jeez, look at that, look at that. Whoa. You are clear to buzz the tower. Is this a good idea to have a beach right next to these morons? Saw that? It's like they do, look at this. They do one dive bombing and then they come back the other direction. Here comes another jerk. Look at this. Yeah, I thought so. Oh! Okay, let's get out of here. I literally just ran from birds. I was feeling zen, you morons. Jesus! Why are we giving them a habitat? They're mean. I just got jumped by birds. Just trying to metal detect. We must have like 50,000 of them. I'm sure the sunbathers are gonna love these guys. Jerks, they're swarming again. Not a good idea. Somebody was like, oh my God, let's make a sanctuary for the birds right by a parking lot. That's a great idea. Great idea, Long Island. Somebody thought this was a good idea. Oh my God. Um, yeah, I think this is my favorite video that you've ever done. I love the birds. Yeah, They're what about great. you, bro? What, what, what about me? The birds fight monsters and you're a monster. I get chased by birds too, but it's better when it happens to Yo, you. I feed you in Wanna the morning. Wanna see my stink eye? That's a stink eye. See? Keep your distance. I'm a guard dog. I said I'm a guard dog. Um, aren't you narrating a video? Go do the video. Leave us alone, you monster. All right, later, bro and sis. All right, if the birds will permit me, I got a signal here. It might be a coin. Oh my God. Yeah, it's one of these, uh, I've, uh, it's a Chinese coin. The thing is, if you see big 
silver dollar like coins like that somebody hasn't been through in a while in terms of metal detectorists so uh, i'm sticking around i'm looking closely despite the crazy birds somebody dumped these offshore for whatever reason fortunately i could speak chinese that says good luck with the birds we got the identical signal right next to it. Most metal detectorists think of the beach as dry or wet, but that line moves constantly. There could be a big storm that there is a massive amount of push in and push back of the waves that drives a lot of sand and items onto the beach, and it goes past the usual high tide line. Uh, I think this was the case because I'm finding all of these things in the dry. Yep. Another Chinese coin. And look at the green on it. Uh, that's a sign that it has been in the water. That's a result of pushback. Despite the silly bird attack before, this video it has a interesting teaching Same point signal. to it. And that is, you look for heavies. Now these heavies were back in what was the dry and a few tide cycles had gone because the, the sand was totally dry in this section. So nobody had disturbed this. I have no doubt that this beach gets hammered all the time. People forgot to check the dry. If you see that green on the coin in the dry, you know that's a result from being pushed in uh, and it was out in the water at one point. Yep, we got another. Chinese coin and this one has a bird on it I think you know it's funny watching this a year later I'm thankful to the birds because they drove me to a good spot they're still swarming I'm risking my life being here so weird same signal again now the logic on heavies is if you are detecting an area that you see a lot of heavy objects in, there could be gold there because gold is a heavy metal. Oh snap. It's another Chinese good luck with the birds coin. Say good luck with the birds. Oh Lord. That's a nice one. So let's take a look at these Chinese coins. Yeah, so these uh, Chinese coins, I have found quite a number of them. Uh, let me show you. So I have not cleaned all of these, but you see the shiny one at the bottom, that was cleaned. And uh, some of these are really cool. They got really cool, that's a yin yang design right there. And I don't know a whole lot about these, but uh, I'm in the process of cleaning up them up. Let me show you how I do it. So you're gonna need a Dremel. Oh, you know, if you watch my channel, I love Dremel. You need a Dremel in your life. Fortunate for you, I put the link in the video description. Now this might seem like a very abrasive attachment. It's got a wire on it. But if you got stuff like this, you know, the green stuff, it's like magic. Of course, if, oh, thank you. Somebody is holding it. So that's step one. And then there is step two. That is Dialux Blanc, which is a polish. And basically I changed the brush head and uh, spinny and spinny and spinny. And I'm going to go right into that coin and let's see what exactly happens. Oh snap, it is just smooth as can be. I know coin people don't like this. I know, but you know what? I can't see them like that. So I like this better. I'll show you a close-up in a moment 
of what this looks like, but wait till you see the polish. You need a Dremel in your life, people. I'm telling you. So, polish, polish, polish. The white, uh, it's abrasive, and uh, it really wipes off very well. So look at that. Look at the two sides. Now, you could say, oh, I want the green. I'm a coin guy. No, you don't, okay? You want it to be shiny. You want it to look like that. That's the whole entire thing, okay? And there is the other side. Not shiny yet, but we're going to make it shiny. And I tell you, I like my coins better when they are polished like this. If you get silver, you don't want to do this to silver. But, you know, copper coins that have green all over the place and you can't read the face? Come on, man. There's the yin-yang coin. And I polished that a little bit. It needs a little bit more. But uh, you, you could do really well with, uh, with the Dremel. It gets you off to a great start. Then you get a fine, a fine rag, and you just yeah, you finish it off. Metal detecting part is not over. We are getting back to it. More treasure is going to be pulled. But I wanted to show you these uh, Chinese coins. They have just appeared on the south shore of Long Island. And uh, they're a nice surprise. Really cool. Uh, different than your usual finds that, you know, penny, nickel, dime, quarter, and such. But, uh, yeah, these are nice. We got actual bird watchers here. They're watching birds. They're like swerving in and out like cars on the highway. You know, like the kid who just got the license to drive obnoxious little things look at them hey what you looking at what you looking at bird here we go again nobody's dive bombing me yet he came close I legit just whoa legit just saw Two of them reproducing. Scientifically speaking, it's called bird sex. Not that we need more of them. We don't need more of them. Look at this guy. Oh. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my god, we might actually have a human coin. We might actually have an American coin. Oh my God. I got my pin pointer. Oh, here it is. It's a quarter. Something deep. Don't knock the apex on the beach. It is legit on the beach. In parks, no. Your iron. Got it. Whatever it is. That's, oh my God! Look at that. Yes, there we go. There we go. Okay. Oh, we got to check this too. There we go. Could that be rose gold? Could that be rose gold? It's got some weight. Yeah, there we go. I was not expecting that. There we go. It's most probably copper. But no, I see an engraving. All right, there's an engraving in here. 
Copper generally does not have engravings. And I see jewels on this one. Oh, snap. There we go. I'm telling you, this little detector on the beach, not in parks, not thrilled with it in parks, on the beach, it is legit. We just unlocked some Arby's. This is deeply personal. Last year, Taco Bell took away the Mexican pizza. Supposedly, it's back this year, although the whole supply chain stuff is still a hot mess. But, uh, yeah, we unlocked Arby's last year. I do like Arby's, but we, sentimental attachment to Taco Bell. Taco Bell's been unlocked. Another one of these deep signals. Or maybe that's a small signal. Let's go pinpointer. And it is, it's a dime. Oh, we're at 35 cents in a ring. I'm happy. Yep, let's dig that. Think we got it. That is a great signal. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Number two. I don't think that these were recent drops either. Well, we got a beach cut, and that might have gotten us down to a pretty good layer. Number two, what? What? Yo. Oh. Yeah, so these were the, uh, the holes, one and two, right over there, that I got the two rings, like, right next to each other. And as you can see, there's a cut. Oh, let me move this. There's a cut that's happening on the beach and you know sand at one point was over here and it made it out of reach of the metal detectors but now it's a point of the year or point in time that i can uh, i can access it so that's why we found it here's where it gets tricky good signal and i'm getting attacked by birds you hear that Watch the shadows. We're still digging this. Getting swarmed. Oh. You hear that? How are people going to go to the beach this summer? Who planned this? I'm not sure this is a signal. Then again, I'm a bit distracted. Yeah, we're going to give this one up. Jerks. Yikes. Okay. That's a dream signal right here. Oh, it's a nickel. This could be a quarter. All right, we got it. Yeah. 
it's a quarter. There we go. Still getting dive bombed. This is a solid one. And it is a dime. 10 cents. Could be a zinkin, could be a great signal. Hear them over my head. It's a quarter. Yep, another quarter. We just got a dime. Now that is a much cuter bird. What's up, buddy? Go fight these jerks. Go! So we had all sorts of bird fun in this video. And for the wrap-up, because these two rings that I found, that was a year ago, I'm just going to show you my entire ring collection. I want to get to a round number. I want to get to 400 rings by the end of the year. Uh, total uh, that I've found in uh, 10 years of uh, metal detecting and I'm pretty close right now and I found about 30 and uh, come along for the ride we want to get to at least 400 I put a lot of pressure on myself in the past with goals we want to keep this one reasonable so uh, we're having fun this year and uh, we are we're digging this is our dig therapy come along for the ride hit that subscribe button thanks everybody